hello everybody welcome to the video today i want to talk about the game of active directory version 2 well what is it it is a windows active directory lab that you can run on your own computer in order to practice your active directory skills you can run it as a vm or you can run it bare bones but it is a, a, a windows active directory lab that is composed of five windows boxes i think there is three domain controllers there some two servers that perform one function or the other it's got multiple o, uh, ous in there it's got multiple users in there and it's got all sorts of vulnerabilities that um, you know you can exploit why is this box interesting well you may have the skills to set up a typical windows box right i mean it's quite easy right you download an iso you load that iso into a virtual box or vmware next 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 and then hey presto you are done but how many of us are able to set up that particular virtual machine so that it's vulnerable to things like AS rep roasting, KB roasting, NTLM relay, ACL abuse, printer bug. You may be coming from a Windows admin environment. You may be you may be a system owner. You may be somebody who has got those skills, but there are very many people who may not necessarily know how to set up a box to be vulnerable. This is the reason that many people sign up with services like hack the box in order to find those windows boxes with all of those vulnerabilities so that they can test against well the good news is that on this particular lab once you set it up it comes already set up with all of these vulnerabilities that you can immediately start testing yourself again start learning how to exploit those particular vulnerabilities the other thing that i love so much about this particular box is that it gives you a chance to see automation in action this box as you will see when the instructions are set up it uses vagrant to provision the box and then it uses ansible uh, it uses a set of ansible scripts to set up all the accounts to set up all the uh, ous and to introduce all the vulnerabilities that you might want to practice against it is all done very quickly for you well very quickly in inverted commas <laughs> as you can see you know uh, you do get run into some issues when you set up the box but everything is automated in exactly the kind of way that you would typically find in an in an organization you don't have to uh, go through the hard work of going through multiple steps of setting up those vulnerabilities yourself it is all automated and all you have to do is to run an ansible playbook and then it does everything for you the other thing that i love about this um, lab is that it is fun it is fun it's got all the 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 the, the, the all use in this box the username in this box uh you, you know they are named after the famous characters from game of thrones if you remember the tv series game of thrones you might not be a tv person but i think most of us we have seen the game of thrones so um all the ous over there all the usernames over there you know they are taken from the characters of the game of thrones just to make it fun just to make it accessible just to make it easy for you to be able to uh, navigate and learn the lab and go through the lab just to make the the learning uh exciting now why did i make the video uh if you are like me you're the person who likes to uh jump in there and start executing a few things before actually reading the instructions and it's only when you get stuck in a particular process that you go up and say oh yeah how do i go about setting up this thing well i was like that and when i did go to the instructions i was in a rush i wasn't reading properly all the instructions were there mayfly took the time to write all the instructions all the step-by-step -step instructions to go about 
but you feel like me you were in a rush you wanted to set up this video quickly you may not have started but you may want to see a video of somebody else who has done it you know just to inspire you just to give you that encouragement to go and set up the lab on your own so i decided let me uh, go through the steps let me record my screen as i go through the steps to record myself as a set of the environment you will see in this uh, video some of the troubles that i ran into and how i went about uh, you know to overcome them as i said had i read the instructions had i went through the github page and read carefully i would have had a much smoother experience but I'm not i am not going to reinvent the wheel if you are like me you like watching a video first then hopefully this video can assist you too and now where can you find it um well obviously you can go to um mayfly's uh, website i'm going to put this url uh, on the notes below but if you go to his github page i think this is the one over there nope that's the one over there if you go to his github page you'll be able to find all the instructions they're clearly laid out so just go to the github and go ahead and clone the site and then you'll be able to follow the instructions you know how to go about doing it so um i hope you find this uh, video interesting i've tried to cut it up into five different parts or is it four different parts i cannot remember and um, i hope you are able to um, enjoy the video so thank you everybody for now i will see you on uh, part one Thank you.